Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Now we've been learning a lot of geometry, and it's time to bring it all together with some cool shapes. We know that triangles have three sides, but did you know that there's more to them than just that? Triangles can be classified by their sides and their angles. We're going to start by looking at how triangles are classified by the length of their sides. Now there are three different ways to classify them. Scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. Now take a look at this triangle here. It has side lengths of 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, and 5 centimeters. And since all sides are different lengths, it's called a scalene triangle. The next type is called an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal. And then check out this triangle. It has two sides of 7 centimeters each. And do you see those small tick marks on the sides of the triangles? They indicate that those two sides are equal. And since there are two sides that have the same length, this triangle is called an isosceles triangle. And here comes the equilateral triangle. Just like the first part of the name equi suggests, an equilateral triangle has sides with the same equal length. Take a look at the tick marks on all the sides, showing that each side is equal to 4 centimeters. Ah, but enough of those sides. You can also classify triangles by their angle measures. They can be acute, obtuse, and right triangles. All angles of an acute triangle are less than 90 degrees, or acute. Notice that the angles in this acute triangle are 35, 65, and 80 degrees, all of which are less than 90. A right triangle has an angle that is equal to 90 degrees, or a right angle. See that box there in the triangle? That symbol indicates that the angle is a right one. And next we have an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle has an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. In this obtuse triangle, for example, there's an eagle that has a measure of 125 degrees. Okay, now let's practice classifying triangles by their sides and angles. Eric drew this triangle. Let's classify it both by its sides and angles. Uh-oh, I don't see any numbers to help classify the triangle by side length or angle measure. But I do see some marks on the diagram that may help us. Okay, we're going to start by classifying the triangle by the side lengths. Now I see tick marks on two of the sides, which means that they're the same length. Great, we know that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Okay, now we can look at the angles. See that small box in one of the angles? That symbol means that the angle is a right angle. Aha! Uh -huh. And that means the triangle has a right angle, so it must be a right triangle. And this triangle can be classified as an isosceles right triangle. Ooh, good job! You know, I've had enough about triangles for the time being. Let's move on over to quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are shapes that have four sides. And there are many types of quadrilaterals, and they can be classified by their sides and angles too. Some shapes have parallel sides, and this means that at any point the sides are the same distance from each other. Another way to think of parallel sides is that they will never ever intersect, even if the sides are extended on for infinity and forever. If the shape has two pairs of parallel sides, it's called a parallelogram. Uh, notice the arrow symbols. This symbol indicates parallel lines. But what if we changed the angles to be right angles? Ah, now we have a rectangle. Look, the box symbol is in each of the corners because rectangles have 90 degree angles. And since two sides create a right angle, you can also say that those sides are perpendicular. If a quadrilateral has only one set of parallel sides, then it's called a trapezoid. Usually the top and bottom sides are parallel, but it can also be the left and right sides. Ah, look at that trapezoid. It has one side that's perpendicular to the parallel sides, 
And it has right angles, too. What do you say we practice with some riddles? Which shape matches all our clues? Now listen to the clues one after another. I'm a three-sided figure, and that means that this is a triangle. The next clue reads, I have an angle measure of 95 degrees. And since the angle is over 90 degrees, this automatically makes the triangle an obtuse triangle. All right, and the last clue, none of my sides are the same length. Huh. If none of the sides are the same length, that makes it scalene. And so this figure is an obtuse scalene triangle. Fabulous solving skills. All right, all right, here comes the next riddle. Sue and Will have each created a shape, and Sue created a rectangle and Will made a triangle. Now they've put them together to form this shape. What kind of shape is it? Cool. Let's classify it by its sides and angles. All right, let's start by looking at the sides. Now the shape has one set of parallel sides, the top and the bottom. And we know that the left side is perpendicular to the top and bottom, making right angles, since it was part of the rectangle that Sue created. That left side and the right side of this shape are not parallel, and since it has only one set of parallel sides, we know that it is a trapezoid. Wow! You've done some mighty geometry work in this lesson. You used your knowledge of parallel and perpendicular lines to classify quadrilaterals. And you also used angles to classify triangles as acute, obtuse, or right triangles, as well as their sides to classify triangles as scaling, isosceles, or equilateral. Great work, and I'm looking forward to the next lesson.